Okay, this is a quick video to show how to set up the church computer for Facebook. First thing you need to do is turn on the camera over on the side with this remote. Just push the on button until you see the light come on on the uh, camera. It'll do a startup routine. There you go, Push. it goes to green. When you're done, when it starts up, push the number one to go to the front preset. Next, look behind the CD player, the DVD player, and turn on the power switch up, and that will turn on the soundboard and also the internet switch, this little black box with the lights flashing. Come over to the computer, Push the start button. Wait for it to log in or start up. Okay, the three things you need for streaming are on the bottom, easy worship. Just click the bottom strip, OBS, streaming software, and Google Chrome. And that'll connect to Facebook. All right, move those so they're adjusted similar to what you see here. Next, go to Facebook, click on the bar, and log in. I'm already logged in. I'll show you how to do that. You need a Facebook admin account. Up here you type in your email and your password to set up the streaming for the church you need an email or admin for the church, the Benson Church account. So when you get this far, click on Benson Free Church, scroll down until you see Create Live. Click on Live, scroll down, click on Use Stream Key, and then you have to go down and get the Stream Key. Click Copy. Go up to Settings on the OBS. The Stream Key is what tells OBS to talk to Facebook, or how to talk to Facebook. Click on stream, double click, double left click until the stream key line is all blue. Right click, paste. All you're doing is copying the paste, the stream key into that uh, line and click OK. Now you st click start streaming and you'll see Facebook connecting live video and in a minute, it'll start showing whatever you have up here. You'll see, I could change it to the sanctuary camera and it'll change down in Facebook in a few seconds because of the lag. I can change to the projector, the service preview, and then on to easy worship. For easy worship, all you need to do is just like easy worship just works just like it used to you pull in and we're going to use a uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation click go live and if you click the easy worship projector the whole screen will be what you're sending out to Facebook will be what you have on easy worship if you use and we normally do that when we're singing and then you can click Sanctuary with Projector Inset. We'll have Pastor speaking through the camera, and then Inset will be whatever you have on the PowerPoint. So normally we use the service preview before church starts, about five minutes before church starts. And then during the service, during the singing, click Easy Worship Projector to put the words out to Facebook during the announcements and that sort of thing, just the sanctuary camera with no inset. During the message, if you're using PowerPoint, 
slides, sanctuary with projector inset, and then uh, back to, depending on where you are in the service, you can click each of those. Now, a few minutes before church starts, right now you're not sending anything out to Facebook. You, to send stuff out to Facebook, you have to click go live, and then just don't worry about adding a title, just click go live again. I won't right here, because we don't want to send something out for a test. Anyways, I'm gonna close that out, go through the service. Everything should be set up and, and uh, working correctly. Run Easy Worship just like we always have. And service is done. You click over this, this will be red and say end live stream or something similar to that. Click end live stream. And that'll stop sending things out to Facebook. And then you can hit stop streaming. At the end, you click the down arrow here and log out of your account. You don't want to leave your account up. And then over here, you see my quick login is right there. I don't want that on. So I click the X. So you have to type in your email and you have to type in your password every time you go. Now I'll show you the presets for the camera. To set presets, you use each of these one through nine are set up. Now you just point the, uh, right now we're on the number one preset, which is the pulpit. Number two preset, just pushing that now, it'll zoom out to the entire stage. Three goes to the piano, in case somebody's doing special worship. Four, stage left when you're looking at it. Five is stage right. Six, when pastor's doing the benediction, go down to number six. And then normally leave it on back to number one. Use those presets during the sermon, depending on where you're at. If you have any questions, give me a call or send a text. Thanks.